what I'd like to talk about today are two different projects, um, primarily starting with uh, rewriting chapter 16 in the building code. In terms of outline today, I'm going to start just with you know a few slides on context to try to put um, the projects in context with you know other types of analysis methods or other things that that we do, um, and then the main section will be talking about the Chapter 16 project in ASC 7, and that's really rewriting the chapter, um, codifying what can be done to design a building using the response history analysis. And then in the second segment, I'd like to talk about the FEMA P58 or ATC 58 project. Um, this one's related to uses of response history analysis, but the real overall, I guess, theme today are advanced analysis methods for either design of buildings in the Chapter 16 case um, or performance assessment of buildings, which is the ATC 58 case. I'll, to give credit where credit is due, I'll show some authorship things coming up. Um, I, I led the team for the first project, but the team consisted of um, about 15 people that spent a great deal of time. I just coordinated it. Um, it was an absolute team effort. And on the second project, um, I've been involved in that project, but that has been a huge 10-year project, and um, I've been involved, other people have been involved much more than I have. So to give credit where credit is due, you know, these are not my projects, these are team projects that I've been involved in at different levels of involvement. So to start off, I'd like to just give a little bit of context as to where these methods that we'll be talking about, the Chapter 16 approach and the ATC 58 approach, where they fit in terms of other things that we often do. So if we're talking about structural analysis in general, um, there's really two purposes that, that we typically have for that. There's others, but two main ones. We're either designing a new building or retrofitting an existing building. Um, I also mentioned here, added the FEMA P58 damage and loss analysis. That's something that's probably new. Um, to a lot of people potentially on this call, you know, in our industry. Um, people have potentially heard about it, but I'd like to talk about um, that in a little bit more detail. That's, I would say, you know, a new analysis method that uh, goes a bit beyond what we've typically done in the past. So in terms of context of this presentation, we're really talking about response history analysis methods that would probably be used for new design in terms of chapter 16 or could be used for damage and loss assessment using the FEMA P58 methodology. A lot of the things could be transferable to retrofit, though I'm not touching on that specifically. Um, I am involved in another Applied Technology Council project that's looking at um, taking a lot of the stuff about chapter 16 that we'll discuss today and bringing some of that stuff into ASC 41, but that's a whole committee process and um, that you know won't be done quickly and we'll see how that goes, but that's not the specific topic for today in terms of the retro retrofit side of things. We'll really focus on new design and then damage assessment. In terms of types of structural analysis, I put kind of a long list here. The ones that we're typically familiar with are the first two. Um, if we're designing a new building, we would use equivalent lateral force procedure for um, some cases, modal analysis for some cases. Um, that should say modal, not model. I changed it on the next slide, but see that I didn't get it here. So those are the two that I would say you know, are kind of our bread and butter in terms of designing buildings. If you want to keep going further and further, um, you could use linear time history analysis, linear response history analysis. Um, ASC 7 Chapter 16 allows that now um, in the ASC 710 version. We haven't heard of people using that very often, but that's there. Um, there's a simplified nonlinear method that I'll mention that FEMA P58 uses. Again, I think that's probably new to most, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. Nonlinear static pushover would be the next level of, um, I guess, refinement. and these days, that's typically used for retrofit cases in ASC 41. 
Um, it's not actually set up for use in ASC7 right now. And then if you go to the, you know, the extreme case of analysis procedures, you would have a nonlinear model and you would use a response history analysis. And that could be used in a lot of different cases. In terms of context, that's the one that we're focusing on today. Um, I'd like to touch a little bit on some of the earlier ones um, for the first two just because they're important. But the real focus will be nonlinear response history analysis, particularly for new design in the Chapter 16 um, update in ASC 7.